Here's the bat hound sniffing out the best ASA softball bats there are. Today I'm here to bring you a bat review of the 2021 Monster Black Sheep. We are putting it on the radar today using the Worth Hot Dot Cycle Ball SYCO. Come on, Black Sheep! 95 miles per hour. All right. Now this is the, the uh, two-piece bat for ASA or USA only. This is the balanced version. There is a end-loaded model, which is this one. This has a half ounce end load, uh, but same, uh, same technology and such. Uh, so same outer barrel, uh, same floating inner barrel. This is just the uh, balanced model. Actually is the same uh, as the fallout in terms of technology with the barrel and the floating inner barrel fallout is the mid load so you have the end loaded option the balanced option or the fallout which is the mid load uh, that comes in half ounce sizes and now I forget I'll have to put it down below I can't remember I thought this is half ounce as well uh, I have the lightest one whatever this is so I thought this is 25 and a half it still comes in as well as 26 and a half but again I'll put those numbers down below what this comes in uh, even though it is balanced. 94 miles per hour. <laughs> 93 miles per hour. All right, what do we want to talk about here? So this uh, has the same shell as the Monster Torch of 2017 and beyond, uh, but this has a different floating inner barrel. Uh, so that, again, same floating inner barrel as the fallout. It's going to give it more durability. Uh, my understanding is the sweet spot's uh, bigger uh, and longer durability than the Torch 25 ounce. 93 miles per hour. Uh, now the fallout of 2018, uh, that bat uh, had hit me some of the longest balls that, I, that I've hit. Uh, the only problem I had with that one was I, I would get a good number of knuckle balls. It was even uh, a gamer for me for a short time, but I just kept getting some knuckleballs that I, I would square up and then it would just kind of fall right into the outfielder's hands. Yeah, I can't, I can't go for that. And that's when the Sinister took over. 93 miles per hour. Uh, but I was excited. Last year, the Black Sheep and the Torch Shoes, Black Sheep came in 25 and a half and 26 and a half, Torch Shoes to 25 and a half only, uh, but they were the same bat. Uh, that really seemed to get rid of those knuckleballs for me. So something with that, that half ounce end load uh, has really helped with that. So I've been excited about that. Again, this is the end load model. Uh, that's the balance model. 88 miles per hour. Come on, Black Sheep. 91 miles per hour. These are about the same in terms of amounts of swing. Uh, a couple hundred each on here. 91 miles per hour. Very hot day out here. Humid. I'm getting tired myself. Yeah, I've already done three reviews. So, oh, we'll take swings with a couple bats so we can compare it right in the moment. So far, uh, in performance wise, I have preferred the end load uh, over the balance, but that's a great balance bat. My favorite balance bat would probably be that Torch Light of last year, 22 ounce balance. That was something else. That bat could crush the ball. Uh, super light though, you, it was an adjustment, but that bat was just fantastic. Uh, I also like- 93 miles per hour. Yeah, uh, DeMarini Mercy. That's a nice balance bat. Actually this year it's uh, advertised as, an, uh, I think even end loaded. Uh, but it definitely feels like a uh, balance bat to me. That's a solid uh, balance bat. The Suncoast Backlash was a, they had a balance model last year. That one was pretty nice. But I'd, I'd probably have to say this uh, Black Sheep Balance is probably my second favorite balance bat. I'd give the first place to the uh, Torch Light, uh, and then I'd go with this one. 94 miles per hour. All right. Go back to the balance. Again, that's the end loaded model. You can you can tell the difference. I mean, when I first got both of them and I was you know playing around with them, I, it was hard to tell the difference. But when you start swinging, 
you can start feeling the difference, that this really does swing much more balanced than that. 94 miles per hour. All right. You just feel like you can swing this one a little faster. I mean, that one, it gives you that, where it just, it, the barrel in my mind just feels, the barrel feels small, and the sweet spot feels massive on both of these, though. But just in the mind, it feels small with that, it's just gonna whip through the zone with that end load. Uh, but this one just feels like you can just kind of bring it through real quick, uh, the whole thing. 94 miles per hour. I tell you, the barrel feels pretty nice there. It's not, uh, I feel like that one feels a little bit harsher, uh, so it feels real nice here. 93 miles per hour. Uh, in general, the fallout or the black sheep it's going to take a little bit longer to break in as compared to, say, the Monster Torch or Monster Sinister. Those two are going to be ready pretty much right out of the gates. Uh, you know, still, once you get a couple hundred, three to five, four, three, four, five hundred swings are going to be really good. I like to get these up. You know, you can get up, up 800 to 1,200. It's going to be real, real nice. So this one still has a ways to go, I think. 87 so miles per hour. Compare both of these relatively at the same spot. Uh, personally, I, you know, I'd probably go with that the unloaded model. Uh, but if you're looking for a balanced bat, this is a fantastic option. If you're looking for one of these brand new, 94 miles yeah, per hour. Cool, real nice. If you're looking for one of these brand new, I guess 250 right now, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. Uh, if you're looking for one used, probably 210, 215, 220. Take some swings with the Monster Unleashed. This is a sinister repaint, 25 ounce mid-load, one piece with the floating inner barrel. Anytime you find a monster bat that's one piece, 25 ounces, mid-load, with the floating inner, inner barrel, same bat, just different paint. It's a sinister repaint. This is the Unleashed. 92 miles per hour. Hammer. Come on here, 94 to chase. 95 miles right. per hour. Took it already, that away at least. This is the 2500 Flex model. 93 miles per hour. All right, we're gonna give you one more here. 96 miles right. per hour. That's the sinister difference there, you know? Just a fantastic bat. Couple more here with the black sheep, balanced. It's a great looking bat, nice and simple. It's a purple. Purple lettering, almost like a with a blue. Uh, how do you how do you call it? Like there's paint on the wall. It's like purple, but it looks like it's got blue in the background almost. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about on that. But you know what I mean. It's a nice looking bat. How about that? Sounds good. Ninety three miles per hour. I expect to get louder. Uh, you know the torches or the uh, fallouts, the black sheep's. Uh, my experience with them, a couple hundred swings that are going to sound good. Uh, you might enter a period where the back kind of goes quiet, not necessarily sound-wise, but just performance-wise. It doesn't perform as good. Uh, you might not encounter that, but you might. Don't get alarmed. Just keep swinging, keep pushing through. Let that inner barrel really get broken in, and boom, all of a sudden you'll notice it sounds different. It's a lot louder, and it's just the pop is just even, uh, just all the more better. So it sounds good right now. 92 miles per hour. I'd only expect it to get louder, but I've been very happy with this. Like I said, if you're looking for a balanced bat, this is going to be a really good one. I would expect it to be very durable. Where that torch light, 22 ounce balance, uh, it wasn't super durable. It's not supposed to be. You know, I think I got just under 300 swings on it before it cracked. 95 miles per hour. Oh, there you go! But this is going to be durable for a long time. Uh, you're split swinging for a long time, so. You know, this, uh, the fallout, they're supposed to be real durable. Uh, so, anyhow, I keep saying durable there. All right, one more, and then we're going to wrap it up. 93 miles per hour. Boy, that's feeling really nice. Tell you what, again, if you're looking for a balanced bet, it's a great option here. All right, that's the Black Sheep Balanced Model for 2021. Uh, feel free to leave any questions, comments down below. This is the Bat Hound, everyone signing up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here. Check out some other videos up here and down here. Thanks, everybody.